Welcome to Oak Haven. As we spend more time walking around in the woods and we're weeding garlic mustard and we're uh, weeding out honeysuckle and other things, we realize that it's really important for people to understand what poison ivy looks like. So we wanted to spend some time, particularly in the spring, what poison ivy looks like, what some of the lookalikes are for poison ivy, and how to avoid it. So poison ivy, some people get poison ivy, some people don't. Uh, I get it pretty badly. I didn't get it when I was younger, so I kind of thought I was immune to it, but it's definitely, you hear the story pretty regularly. It's definitely something that you, uh, you can not get it for a long period of time, and then every time you get it, it seems like it builds, uh, and it's worse and worse. So this is poison ivy, and I'm not gonna pick it and show it to you. Leaves of three, let it be. You can see it's got these irregularly shaped toothed leaves. You know, some, some things have, I would rather you not get into it. You know, if, the, if cayenne gets into it or Kimber gets into it and then we pet uh, either of them later on, uh, you can get it from that. They can transfer the, um, <laughs> the, the oils to you. So I'm gonna try to block him. Uh, but as it comes up in the spring, it's really shiny tends to be darker color, kind of have a purplish color. But there's other things that have kind of that same color that uh, you don't want to confuse it with because you don't want to be afraid of going out in the woods. But this is definitely poison ivy. Over here is Virginia creeper, which looks kind of like it. It's got a very similar color. I can actually pick this because I can show it to you. So very similar color, but it, um, this has five leaves, so uh, Virginia creeper has five leaves, and um, poison ivy only has three leaves. And then the Virginia creeper has a very regularly um, serrated leaf, whereas the poison ivy has like a big lobe here, and then a smaller lobe, and then a big lobe, and here they've got a big lobe here. It's, it's very aw awkwardly lobed. Now, I'm gonna reach over here, because right next to us, is what looks very much like the same type of thing. It's got kind of an awkwardly lobed three leaf leaflets on a compound leaf, reddish stem. But this is box elder. Box elder has more of a matte finish, whereas the, the poison ivy, when it first comes up, is really shiny. And you can see the older leaves have started to lose that shininess. But Box elder also is opposite, so the branching, if you look at it, it has a pair of leaves that come out. So that's the best way, uh, I think, to tell box elder from poison ivy. Poison ivy is gonna be alternate. You'll have a leaf come out, and then further on down, you'll have another leaf come out. So box elder, and poison ivy, and Virginia creeper. Now I wanna show you one other thing that looks a little bit like that, that could kind of confuse you. Uh, we're gonna walk a little bit further, and I'll show you that. So this is another poison ivy lookalike that you wouldn't confuse it later on in the season, but right now I think it looks very similar. Um, if you look at this white ash coming up, it just a it has that same kind of reddish green leaf, and in this case it's got three leaflets. It generally has more leaflets, like five leaflets, but in this case it has three. Ash is an opposite tree, so you notice that the leaves come out opposite. Um, so again, that's different from the poison ivy. But you often find poison ivy growing as little woody stems coming out of the ground with their leaves coming up like that. Uh, but this is, this is an ash tree, the white ash, rather than poison ivy. So hopefully you've learned something about how to avoid poison ivy uh, in the future. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos on exploring the woods and nature, uh, please subscribe. Uh, we always appreciate new subscribers. So, thanks for joining us.